George Doyle and Mr. Dolkey were said to have been murdered by bushrangers on Easter Day, 1902. The murderers were the bushrangers Patrick and James Kenneff, each an excellent bushman and horseman. In 1891, the family overlanded from New South Wales to Queensland, stopping first around Springshore. In 1893, they were granted a pastoral lease in the Upper Warrego district near Carnarvon Gorge. The 1890s drought caused the family hardship and the two boys turned to rustling, then to bush ranging, and began to terrorise surrounding properties, particularly targeting the Carnarvon station and its manager, Albert Dorkey. Constable George Doyle and tracker Sam Johnson were assigned to the Upper Warrego Police Station to restore law and order. Albert Dorkey volunteered to assist them. When Doyle and Johnson captured the Kenneth brothers at Lethbridge's pocket, Doyle and Dorkey guarded the prisoners while Johnson went to fetch handcuffs from a pack saddle. Johnson heard shots, saw the Kenneth brothers galloping towards him and fled to get help. The next day the rescue party found the burnt remains of Doyle and Dorkey's corpses and recaptured their blood splattered horses. Three months later, the brothers were recaptured at a rest creek south of Mitchell. Subsequently, they were tried and condemned to death. Patrick was hung on January 12, 1903. James's sentence was commuted. He served 12 years of his life sentence and died at Charters Towers in 1940. Sam Johnson served in the Queensland Police Force for 23 years, retiring with the rank of corporal. He died a respected member of the community. His grave in the Long Ridge Ceremony is marked by a headstone and plaque erected by the Friends of the Queensland Police Museum. And there is a monument to George Doyle and Mr Dolkey located in the Tamrugan Cemetery, only a few kilometres outside of Bay Desert. This vessel was named George Doyle on the 30th of June 1995 and it is in recognition of his service as a policeman. <laughs>